Interesting kid. 真是一群有趣的孩子呢。Hey, what's with all the laughing and shouting? Don't leave us out. Let's go outside. 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 Let's go I can see the room, Miss Shiguri, but you know I can still hear you from far away. This doesn't prevent me from hearing all the details you just mentioned. Never mind. Since you're probably not my target, it won't help to let you listen. Everything started with the Dead Bubble Universe. What do you think, Kira? This looks ten times worse than I expected. So the elder wasn't just worrying over nothing, huh? Not at all. If nothing else, she's being conservative. But this is something we'll have to deal with. Go, Nigareth. Interesting. It seems like we can finally move a little. These guys are nothing like what we've seen in the Sea of Quanta. Don't worry, they're no match for you. Plus, you've got me on your side. Looks like you've gotten even stronger. How about we save the checkup for after the fight? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. We aren't together as much as we used to be, so I got a little nostalgic for a second there. Right. All taken care of. Kira and I rock. I don't think you made much of a difference. Any signs of life? Wait a sec. She began to sniff around crazily like a police dog. You're not brown sugar anymore, and this is not how you retrieve information as a human. Don't sweat it, as long as it works. Right? Am I able to detect anything that could be called living other than these guys here? Nigrath kicked an unresponsive construct. These monsters, could it be? That's right, their shapes and structure might be different, but they obviously share the same origin with them. Just as Elder Compato suspected. Candy House, the home of the exiled race, the Sugars, their last sanctuary. Apart from their own land and a few friends, no one can find the small little bubble universe kept away from all worldly troubles. Elder Competo is always punctual. How come he has kept us waiting so long? Who knows? But Kohakuto told me Elder Competo looked very worried ever since he used the astro astroscope. Maybe he's just too old. It's not good to badmouth someone behind their back, Crystal Sugar. You finally come. Shaguri Kira turned around and looked to see who was there. 
while Nikora deftly transformed back into Sugars and laughed on top of her shoulder. Yes,、mm. sorry to have kept you waiting. So what was holding up you had wait wait for so long? As hot headed as ever. But it's all right. It's something urgent, and there's no time for small talk. Other compito, what's so urgent? Brown sugar, crystal sugar. I need you to head to a special bubble universe and check something there that worries me. The candy house needs a new anchor again? No, that bubble universe has nothing to do with our race, and it has been destroyed for many years. But it's a dangerous trip, so I need our best fighters on this mission. Right now, you're the only combat specialized sugars standing by in the candy house. I have no problem with that, but is it really urgent? Given that the world was destroyed years ago, it is because we found it too late. Depending on the outcome of your investigation. The survival of the sugars might be at stake. Wait, that's big. I'm not exaggerating. Whoever destroyed the bubble universe might be connected to our greatest enemy. The horrible sky people. They destroyed the first home of Sugars. Right, they're a plague. They came uninvited and drained our planet to the last drop. Our dear Compito called them the Galactic Pirates, but I think Galactic Cockroaches suit them more. They're weak individually, but their ability to replicate is outrageous. I remember Sugar built a handy house to escape from them, right? Exactly. When you see one cockroach in the cupboard, there must be dozens hiding elsewhere. But the candy house was built before Elder Compito was born, right? More like the Jurassic period in Earth terms. But why are Sugar still afraid of the Sky People? It's ancient history now. If the Sky People's ambition is matched by their ability, they should have come to the Earth and replicated themselves all over by now. But that hasn't happened yet. Which means Sugars are perfectly safe in the Candy House, and there's no need to worry. But didn't we just find something similar to them in the Sea of Quanta? And from another reason. What? There seems to be weak electrical signal coming that way, which is by no means characteristic of these monsters. Traces left behind by the civilization here, maybe? I don't know. Let's go check out. Are you telling me that there are other reasons that sugars fear the sky people? The sky people's bodies are mechanical, so just as we sugars have an animal form, we should have some form of mechanical. But if they've had such advanced tech all these years, why have such primitive methods of getting energy and replicating? What are you getting at? The elder ones said that the sky people were designed into being, which is why their civilization and technology are out of sync. But what kind of entity do you think could create a group of interstellar hunters? That must be why he's scared.
Here we go again. These guys really know how to use their environment to their advantage. I'm sorry, Kira. It looks like I can only spot them when they get close. There's no way to warn you ahead of time. That's all right. On that note, why don't you practice the new song with me next time? What did you just say? It's hard to hear you with all the wind. We're here. The signal is coming from right behind the gate. An architecture. It's been kept intact. Let's head inside. I don't see a switch anywhere. Is it open from the inside? Watch your feet. Welcome. That was scary. Is it a hologram? Ladies, welcome to our last home, Miracle Park Atlas. Although there's a hundred more of such homes. That's apocalyptic humor for you. I'm your guide, Alice Manager, electrical engineer, teacher, chef, hairdresser, doctor, therapist, and a good neighbor, Charter. That's right. Any job in the park is my job. I even set my own pay. Totally not rigging the system. This guy must be roaring drunk when he took the video. Leaving his personality aside, we might learn the past of this bubble universe from this video. That depends on its luck. Without further ado, let's go on a magical journey. Please come with me. That's a life support pod. No, more like some kind of bionic computer. Looks like people in this bubble universe are capable of information age equivalent technologies, or at least they were. Well then, are you ready, ladies? What I'm offering you is a journey to witness precious historical records from the Golden Age. Can't wait to find out? Just press the button over there. Button? Oh, this one. What do you mean by journey? Can't wait to find out? Just press the button over there. Guess we'll have to give it a try. Watch out, Kira. I don't like how this guy sounds. I'll keep my guard up. Pressing the button now. This says Amazed by the immersive experience, aren't you? The holographic device we prepare for the journey comes from the greatest virtual reality image designer, Lawrence. He died in an extractor explosion accident in Star Trek era 195, but the sadness is all behind us now. Welcome to Co era 1182. I bet you won't say no to cheering crowds, lots of laughter, and ice cream on a parade. Looks like he restored the moment of the bubble universe history with holograph. That means the dead land we just saw was once lively and prosperous like this. That gives me goosebumps. But anyway, that's the norm in this universe. You two, 
What are you waiting for? Join the happy crowd and share their joy. Let's go and find out what the locals know. Hi. Oh, hi. You two are here for the celebration too. Sort of. Grandpa, what are we celebrating? You don't even know what's going on. You must love big crowds. We're celebrating the planet Rattentin finding a new energy source to replace fossil fuel. New energy source? Yeah, it comes from an ore called Star Rock. It's safe, stable, efficient, and can last lifetimes. Very soon, people won't have to queue for gas. How can we not celebrate such a great thing? Oh, I see. Thank you. You're welcome. Just enjoy yourselves. Hi, ladies. Aren't today the greatest day of all? Because of Star Rock, right? Energy conserves everyone here, I guess. The men squinted at them as if they were dinosaurs. You must be outlanders. There aren't a lot of you kind here, but we do get some from time to time. Is energy important? Of course. Without energy, how can we keep the lights on? How can we make the machines work? And how can the planet Rankin team explore new homes? Fear imperceptibly flashed past the man's eyes, suppressing her fervor. No reason to be grim during a moment like this. The float is coming soon. Why don't you two outlanders hop on and take a tour? Quantum shadows. What that looks like? No need to panic. These monsters are just part of the show. I have Lawrence to thank for how good they look. It's time for our planetary guardians to make their debut. Please enjoy watching them defend their home and their people. The security force cleared up the monsters in their meccas, and order soon returned to the celebration. People seem to be accustomed to this sort of thing and stay calm for the most part. Are you alright? Oh, I forgot these were images from the past. Nothing can happen to you now. I'm all right. The guards keep us safe every time. The guards, the people who came in the matches. Yeah, as soon as monsters show up, they always come to our rescue and take the monsters down. Dad told me if monsters show up again, the mecha force won't have the power to fight them since we're running out of energy. The guard might not be able to keep us safe. But things have turned around. Dad said we've found a new source of energy, and the guard can keep us safe again, just like that. Oh, I see. But still, it's dangerous for you to be alone. Be a good girl and go back to your dad. All right? Yeah, I know. Goodbye. The girl waved her hand and ran off while the two watched. A new finding about this bubble universe? Yeah, sort of. First of all, this bubble universe, let's call it the fallen star. 
我们就称呼它为凋零之星吧。Negra struck contentedly. The fallen star falls into the more complete type of bubble universes. It has considerable space, population, and even the look of a full planet. It's way smaller than Earth, though. On the other hand, civilization here has advanced to the level where they become aware of the crisis they're faced with. Indeed, due to the bubble universe seclusion, it won't be able to sustain itself for long. Generally, isolated bubble universes are like dandelions floating in the wind. The fallen star cannot survive long on its own. I'm afraid star rock will run out someday too. Energy crisis. Would this be the fallen star's downfall? No. If that's the case, we can't explain why the sky people creations are here. Let's keep looking. Shigure Kira walked to Charter, who was standing by the side. Mr. Charter, we finished this clip. Could you please play the next one for us? Of course. Well, the next clip was captured in Sarak Era 199. What? No worries. I always stay positive, despite my bad luck. <laughs> the record of Star Rock Era 199 are special, and might cause some minor discomfort. Are you sure you want to go on? They nodded at the same time. I see. Well. Here we go. Is this a prison? It might also be some kind of underground facility. What's that? Someone's fallen on the ground. Let's go help. What's this? The projection has been. That guy has gone missing. Carter, Carter, nowhere to be found. Maybe something's wrong with the projector. Hard to say. Have a look over there. It's a planetary guardian mag. Maybe I don't know what's going on. Why aren't you sought shelter yet? If Extractor O3 strikes you big, you'll be buried here in a minute. Hit the jackpot. You're not from here. Never mind. Tell us what happened. What else could it be? The Star Rock Extractor exploded again. Charlie seemed to have mentioned this before. I'm not an expert on this. All you need to know is there are machines used to extract Star Rock. If they're so dangerous, why use them? They are no danger at all. What's dangerous is Star Rock itself. Yeah, it comes from an ore called Star Rock. It's safe, stable, efficient, and can last lifetimes. Wait. Before Shigure Kira could finish, the guard waved his hand and left in a hurry. That's weird. If the guy named Charger doesn't show up, will we be trapped here forever? Go look around and see if there's anyone else. 